everyone, it's Landon here. Just thought I'd give you a bit of a update on the new AS3001. There's some some new rules in there that are um, a little bit confusing and <clears throat> I, I somewhat feel like they're more relevant to maybe lead acid batteries and, and that type of stuff but um, but at the end of the day they're the rules and this is what we need to build our systems to. So one of the rules is about where we can locate our batteries. So in the past we could put them wherever we want you know and what whatever type thing but now <clears throat> they're asking them for to be uh, not in any habitable areas which is areas where we um, sit, eat, sleep, cook that type of stuff so um, people have taken this as that they can't be inside the van which isn't entirely correct it's more that if they are inside the van this 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 is the solution I suppose because not every caravan has an ideal position in its uh, boot space or the batteries that you've got might not be suitable to be mounting outside and, and you might just not want them outside too which um, is is fair enough as well so what um, I have um, seen seen done, and I, and I think it's a great idea. Is is this type of thing? Is to mount them in a box in the caravan and have them vented to the outside. So if this is the inside of the caravan and this white wall is the wall of the caravan, so so to have a box, they they need to be accessible for um, you know maintenance and and that type of stuff. But they could be screwed down. You could screw that lid down, so then it's a tight a tight seal. Or you could have like a, a rubber seal around there and a center of a latch um, to, to put pressure on that seal. So what they're um, not wanting is the gases to to come inside of the van. So if there was anything to happen, that it would be vented to the outside. So um, so yeah, they have that rubber seal on there. And also <clears throat> they have recommendations of like a, a warning label that says do not open this hatch hatch must be sealed type thing so so yeah that that's my solution for me I I would probably I'd build this out of it it wouldn't really matter what but I, I quite like form ply form ply is um, it it's good with the heat that it's got has like a, um, a, a sealed surface to it so it's quite nice to work with and um, yeah, not nice and solid as well. So, but th there'd be a million ways. If it was a metal box, I'd probably make sure it's well earthed, I suppose. Um, but yeah, and and then the cable. So then I, I would put still put these as near as possible to the um, rest of the system. So say this is under the bed. Uh, that's why I drew it like that, just to give ideas. I, I'd still put the inverter and the solar charger and, and that type of stuff. Um, you know, nearby or um, another good idea too that I that I've seen done is to to use the tunnel boot of the vans to put the batteries in because they're um, already vented to the outside, or we could put a little vent in um, as well, and then we could run the cables through the wall and still have the gear under the bed. But and just running those through, I would use like a, a tight gland. They have like a rubber seal in them, and if you get the right size gland, they push through and they they do up nice and tight around the cable. So. I would just have two little glands coming out the side here somewhere for for the cables. It'd be a positive and a negative, obviously coming out. But um, if we have this in a position, say it's in the back of a sprinter van, and you know cutting a, a hole through the side, we we could isn't an option. We could also vent it through the bottom, and their suggestion is a 20 millimeter diameter. So you could have like a little vent pipe with some mesh over it or um, something like that. You could vent through to the floor. So, so I think that's a, a great idea as well, just to be able to, um, you know, put them in places where where they're going to be most practical. So not not everyone has the ability to, you know, just plonk them outside. But um, yeah, otherwise they, they are making more and more um, waterproof batteries. Um, they can be mounted anywhere type thing, but um, yeah, I guess the um, point out of all this is to remember to this um, habitable area is, w is where they, they don't want them to be. So that's anywhere that we can eat, sleep, um, drink, cook, 
go to the toilet, that type of stuff. So that, that's where they don't want them. So um, yeah, so they, they really need to be sealed off from, from that area. So that's um, one of the new curly rules and um, this is my solution to it, but I'm happy to um, interpret any other rules that, that you might um, be confused about and um, come up with a, a solution together to, to work out how that would look in a practical sense. So um, yeah, let me know if you've got any questions and comment on this video of um, any other AS3001 rules you'd like some clarity on. Good on you guys. Cheers.